Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. It's a fine day today, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's wonderful after the downpour. How nice seeing the sun back again. The air is so fresh. I hope it stays nice like this for a long period of time. Well, the weather is so unpredictable this time of year. You're right. We don't know what is going to be like tomorrow. Look, it looks as if it is going to rain. The weatherman predicts a fine day today. The weather is often quite different from the weather forecast. Hi, dear, I've got your voice at last. Hi, darling. I am thinking it is the time of your calling. Are you okay today? Quite good except thinking of you so much. So do I. You are a beautiful flower in my mind. It's called love as blind, I think. Did you watch the volleyball match last night? Yeah. Who won? China. What was the score? China beat Brazil 3 to 0. Wonderful. Honey, do you have a second? Sure. Are you okay? You seem a bit worried. What's on your mind? We need to talk. Okay. I've been thinking, and well, I think we need to start seeing other people. What? Why? I mean, we've had our ups and downs, and we have the occasional disagreement, but we're happy together, aren't we? That's just it. I'm not happy anymore, Tim. It's not you, it's me. I know that I can be hard to deal with, and you are a great guy. You are the type of guy that any woman would kill for. So, what are you saying? You're breaking up with me because I'm perfect? Tim, you are too good for me. You deserve someone who can make you smile and make you happy the way that you made me happy. Oh, I could say that I'll be all you need, but that would be a lie. I know I'd only hurt you. I know I'd only make you cry. Baby, come on. Don't do this to me. Whatever it is, we can work it out. Just give me another chance. I know that we can get through this, but we gotta stick together. Don't leave me. I can't, Tim. I hope someday you can find some way to understand I'm only doing this for you. I don't really want to go but, deep in my heart I know this is the kindest thing to do. Laura. Here are your keys. I'll send my sister to pick up the rest of my things next week. I'm sorry, Tim. I wish you all the best, and I hope that one day we can meet again. I'll always love you. Goodbye. What's the matter with you? You look so upset and tired. My father failed in business. Oh, that's really tough. Maybe it is the most difficult period of my family have experienced. I can understand. By the way, is there any way I can help? No, not now. I have found a part-time job. So perhaps I can help my family to come over the difficulties. Oh, that's so great. Bless you. If you need me, I'll always be there. Thank you. I'm glad to have had the opportunity to meet you here. I trust you're keeping well? I'm doing great, thank you. So we can get down to business. We still have one more day to go before we return home. What will we see tomorrow? 
no idea. We've enjoyed both the natural scenery and the city sights. What else is there to see? What about a factory tour? You mean visit a factory? Yes. I heard there's a logger motor company nearby which open to the public every weekend. We can go to see how a car is manufactured and learn more about the automobile industry. Good idea. I've always been interested in that. How much is the entrance fee? I'm not sure, but as far as I know, most factory tours are free. They are sponsored by the company providing the tour. Really? What do the companies do that for? I believe most of them think of it as good public relations. They can promote their product and make their company better known. Oh, I see. So factory tours are good for companies as well as visitors. Exactly. Do we need an appointment beforehand? I'll call the Tourist Information Center to check. Which sports are popular in your country? Most people like football. More boys like football than girls. A few girls play it really well. Some people like playing basketball. Do many people like tennis? More and more people like it now. Fewer people play table tennis than before. Many people like swimming, because it is fun and keeps you fit. In my country, many people enjoy golf, but it is too expensive for some people. A few people like extreme sports, but I think the vast majority of people are afraid to try them. Extreme sports are only for a small minority of people. Several people from my university enjoy them, but most of us just watch. No one I know plays golf. I know loads of people who play it regularly. There are plenty of golf courses around the country. In the past, only a tiny number of people played. A great deal of people follow rugby in my country. There are plenty of rugby fans in my country too. Which film shall we see? There is nothing good at the moment. Let's do something different. Would you like to go to a concert? Yes, I'd love to. Here is a good one, Mozart and Beethoven. It's on the festival hall. Fine. Do you want anything to eat now? No, I'm not hungry. Well, let's go and have something to drink instead. I know a good place. It's a little expensive, but it's fun. My mother likes to split hairs. What do you mean by that? She has keen to buy something which is much cheaper. Mothers like that. I am not sure what to do during the holidays. Any suggestions? Well, going to a cinema, visiting the galleries, exhibitions and museums, finding and meeting old friends, exercising in the health club or mountain biking. There are so many good choices. The problem is that I find all of them are full of fun. I just don't know what to do first. Why not start with the most interesting one? Actually, I'm interested in all of them. The more choices we have, the harder to make a decision. Toss a coin to decide then. Hi, I see you are having fun with your new computer and internet connection. There's so much I want to do. I've just finished sending lots of emails to friends and family all over the world. I just ran a search for music to download. I can give you the name of a few useful website to visit. Thanks. That would be very helpful. I've discovered that it can take a long time to find exactly what you want. 
there's too much information on the net. When you sent your emails, did you attach any files to them? Yes, I did. There's an antivirus program with my email account that scans all attachments, so I'm sure I haven't sent anything nasty to anyone. When you use the internet, be careful not to give out your email address very often. If you do, you might get a lot of spam unwanted email from companies trying to sell you things. That's good advice. I should also be careful about giving out confidential information about myself, such as my password and credit card number. That's right. Another thing to remember when you are surfing is that you can add a web page to your list of favorites. Your computer will remember the page and you can return there quickly next time you want to visit. How do I do that? Take this web page for example. Press the keys, Ctrl, and, D, together. Click on, Favorites, at the top of the screen. There you are. It has been added to you favorites list. If you click it, you will automatically go to that web page again. That's useful to know. Thanks. I'll just log off and shout down my computer and we can go for a coffee. Have you heard that new song by the Beastie Boys? Why do you listen to rap? It's not much different from that heavy metal music you like so much. Heavy metal music is a lot different from rap music. You can dance to heavy metal. Hey, you can dance to rap music. I can't dance to it. And I know you can't either. Because I've seen you try. John, wait a second. I was just heading downstairs for a cup of coffee. You want to come? I've got some good news. Sure. Let me just grab my wallet. You certainly do look happy this morning. I am. Don't worry about getting your wallet. It's my treat. This is a first. You must have won the lottery. I heard that Kevin got divorced. Is that true? Not so bad, but Kevin does have problems with his wife. What? His wife always complained that Kevin's salary was too low and got no promotion. Poor Kevin, we should do something for him. He is a nice guy and does his job well. Yeah, I agree with you. But you know, it's just one of those things. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.